next stop is the north side of the Point Magoo Rock. It's pretty phenomenal. A lot of these guys haven't been there. now. Little did they know that we're actually hiking all the way back to Malibu. I'm good with that. That's fine. <laughs> but we're going to have That was, that was a good drive. It was nice. It's yeah. beautiful. It's an incredible day today. A lot of these guys have not. Have you been to this museum? No, huh? All right. I'm looking forward to it. It's a treat for everybody.
Kathy is still working on her massive project. I really want to be able to tell you guys what this thing is. Uh, it's for Ellen's new game show, Ellen DeGeneres' new game show, but it's just so, just so huge, just so enormous. A couple of you uh, that I, I've mentioned what this is. It's, it's just hard, it's, it's something that's small, and then it's blown up to be massive. It's something that it's something that you wear. I'll give it that's that's about the most hand I can. It's something that you wear, and it's it's ginormous. It's eight and a half feet tall, seven feet long. But that's it. I can't I can't say anymore. That's it. Also, big thanks to the guys at Before It's News for sending me this. This is the 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 movie Jane, which is a documentary from National Geographic. I watched this last night. It was quite spectacular. It does here from Vogue, one of the best documentaries of all time. It, it really was. It was. It's really quite an extraordinary thing. Uh, Jane Goodall who uh, went out into the, into the bush in Africa and hung out with chimpanzees for like 50 years. This is a tremendous of, amount of unseen footage uh, that never got published, it just found in 2014. And then they made a movie out of it. It's, it's freaking cool, man. The movie comes out March 12th, so check it out. It's really good. Okay, quickly, uh, some notes about the, the Corvette, 2018 Corvette Grand Sport Coupe. In its regular clothed state, it's about 19 miles per 19 to 25 miles per gallon. 6.2 liter V8 with a seven speed transmission. Seven times. 480 horsepower, which is uh, you know enough to scoot around for a whopping 65 grand. Now, uh, that's not the car that I have. The regular edition is 65 grand. On top of that, this is the carbon 65. So the other one's 65 grand, but this is the carbon 65. And that, uh, it, there's way too many things too, too many things that they've added to it to even list. I can barely even even mention other than some of the things I've already shown you. That bumps up the price from 65, right right down here, 65, to 99, right by there. $100,000 Corvette. Hey, $100,000 for a Corvette? Huh, I would. Bar is badass. I got the car for a few more days, so well, uh, we can talk a little bit more about that stuff. But I, I wanted to address one thing as I wrap up today's vlog. We've talked a lot about why people go to car shows and why they um, they feel the need to bring their cars and things like that. And and it, it's come to the realization. It's come to my realization. Many people will tell you that they like uh, they like working alone. They like being alone. They like uh, doing things alone. But the truth is that there's times when you like to be alone because then you can concentrate and you can get things done. And, uh, and that's the right reason I get up uh, recently at two o'clock in the morning to be able to, to, to get stuff done. But nobody, nobody wants to really be alone. Now I have a lot of friends that uh, don't have relationships, they're single and and they're uh, essentially alone for a, a large part of the time. And what car shows do is is they they allow you to, to, to be with people, to converse, to, to feel life, to be alive. Now I know what it's like to be lonely. And I know the difference between being lonely and being alone. You could say that uh, uh, being alone is a choice and being lonely is just something that kind of happens. But the truth is, they're both choices. Loneliness is not a good thing. And uh, it's tough. It's tough for anybody who feels lonely. Uh, we all strive to not feel that. We all strive to want to find something that we can do to not feel lonely so that, that we're around people. And there's lots of reasons why people are, are feeling lonely and there's lots of excuses that they can give themselves. It's all baloney. What is true is that our thoughts are projected into the world, is that whatever we think goes out and what we what we push out is what comes back to us. You say that guy's an a-hole, it becomes an a-hole for you. you. Say your situation is difficult, it becomes difficult. You say life is hard, it continues to be hard. But if you project goodness, if you, if you give good things into the world. If you put more smiles out there, if you put more love out there, then slowly things will evolve and change and more love and happiness will come back to you. Now I know this for a fact. It's it's This is not uh, an opinion. This is not something that uh, you know I'm randomly throwing out there. There's a scientific law that is very clear, very clearly understood. Energy is a living thing and we are full of it. Whatever we put out into the world comes back to us. So we have to be very conscious, very careful about putting bad things out. I strive to put good things out into the world and that's what I'm doing here with this blog and wheels and waves and anything else. Now I'm not trying to pat myself on the back, I'm trying to say that we all have to do this. This is our job as human beings. I want you guys to think about that. I want you to think of a, of a way that you can put goodness out into the world, whether it's a compliment or a smile. Go to car shows, go do fun things, hang out with people, smile, enjoy yourself and your world will change. I promise, you never know. A brand new Corvette might show up on your doorstep. That's it, people. Thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate it. If you guys have not had a chance to check out our Facebook page, please do so. Go and hang out there. Our Facebook page has been messed up for like years. It's now fully functional. It's awesome. And big thanks to the guys at Superfly Autos for helping me out to fix that. And also, once again, big thanks to Sports Car Classics for sponsoring uh, today's Wheels and Waves. Next month, it's going to be Mag Motors. And we also have actor and stuntman Simon Reed, who's going to join us for the show. All right, guys. That's it. We'll see you tomorrow.